How you doing, Anthony Ferro here of Create Sci-Fi. Uh, today is going to be a fun day. Today, I'm going to make a sci-fi pith helmet. <laughs> but before we get started, I wanted to get into a little bit of theory. Um, one thing with making sci-fi on a budget is, you know, you're always looking for um, donor objects of this world, but things that are a little peculiar, right? You could get a construction hat or a um, some sort of tactical helmet or whatever, and, and you could do that, that would look fine. But something about a pith helmet is just strange enough to be timeless. And also, I've been wanting to create a character for myself. I talk a lot um, about proof of concept on this channel, right? It's like, have an idea, um, and before you go all in and, and worry about, can I get the money and, and spend a lot of time and energy, just do something quick and easy and see how it lands. And then maybe it'll inspire you to, all right, I gotta do this right, or you'll get it out of your system and you'll move on. Um, but I'm always asking people to do stuff as favors for me or as barter. So sometimes with a proof of concept, I wanna be able to just throw myself in there and I look the way I look, right? So I thought a, a pith helmet would be a, a, a good uh, character piece to do something for myself. So I have this pith, pith helmet that I got um, at an Army Navy store, pretty inexpensive. It was like 12, 13 bucks, I think plastic so we'll be able to use all our processes paint and sanding on this glue and then from the dollar store of course i got some little guns um so i'm thinking i'm gonna mount some kind of gun on here and then in my bin of junk greeblies i have this lens so i think i'm gonna put this lens on there a gun and I don't know, from uh, the wizard staff, I bought that child's ninja stuff. I have this, that might be fun on the top there. And then um, from another video, I did the wacky goggles. Uh, these won't be part of the build, but I think I'm gonna paint them the same color as the helmet, so that'll be part of that costume. So as always, I have a pith helmet. <laughs> well, I don't always have it. <laughs> A pith helmet. As always, I have uh, an idea in my head, so I have the components, square peg, round hole, and so now just come along with me, let's hang out, and let's figure out how this goes together. And <laughs> I'm just as interested as you to see how this turns out. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing I do is take a look at what the heck I got myself into. <laughs> and get started. Now I just want to liberate all my toys. I use the razor and I actually saved these pieces of cardboard for later when I paint. I use them as a palette. So now I'm just sort of testing things out. I figure these guns are going to have to go here. I wanted to put the, the lens on the side, but it makes most sense there. So I go with it. So now I take my favorite, the Dremel buzzsaw, and I start cutting off these handles, being careful not to cut off my fingers. And now I'm going to make a template for a piece of foam that I'm gonna put on the front of this helmet to house the lens and to give it a little bit of visual interest. I roughly sketch out how I think the pattern's gonna go. And then when I take the tape off of the helmet, I can clean up the lines, but I know that this is gonna fit. So I clean up those lines on this triangle piece here and I put it on the foam. And I try to place it in a way so that the diamond pattern of this foam will work well with my design. And I just go ahead and cut this out, make sure that you have a sharp knife, it makes life easier. And now I'm just gonna start sanding. Throughout this process, I sand um, a little bit of toothing up the piece to accept the glue and the paint. Now I'm just gonna trace out where this lens is gonna go and I'm gonna take my Dremel tool and I'm just going to carve out just a, a little indentation so that lens will fit in there. It'll look like it's a part of that piece. So now before I glue down uh, this element on the front of the helmet, I just wanna roughly mark with a Sharpie where it's gonna go. Because once the glue is about to dry, you don't wanna be futzing around. You wanna just have some place to aim for basically. So I uh, put a pretty generous amount of hot glue on here and I fit that to the front of the helmet. Now this has to bend around so I make sure that that's on there firmly and that looks good. 
So now I'm gonna cut a strip of thin foam. This is, I believe, five millimeter foam. And I always just cut strips about the width of my ruler just to make my life easier. And I'm going to put a band around the helmet and I'm going to make this look like this is a metal object. So I take my sanding drum on my Dremel tool and you just go straight down on this. And this is a really cool, simple technique um, that creates a rivet look. And yeah, so that looks like a strip of metal now. So now I just glue this on the helmet. I start to sand it a little bit more, tooth it up, because uh, I'm gonna be gluing and painting. And then I just take a steel wool pad and just go over the whole thing. And it helps to get into the creases and the crevices. And it's just sort of uh, an easy way to make sure that you hit everything. Now I'm roughing in where I wanna put these guns. I take my buzzsaw tool again and just sort of um, hack out a little bit of area before I fine clean that up. Now I take the Dremel tool with the sanding drum and I just make a, a cleaner hole on there. And it's just, you know, square peg round hole. So I just trial fit things and adjust as needed and that looks good. So I'm gonna glue that down. Um, for this, I just use super glue with a little bit of kicker. Uh, the kicker helps it to bond instantly. And you know, when you're doing a one day build, it really helps. So now uh, the foam is not going to accept spray paint. It doesn't like the paint. So what you do is you put a coat of acrylic or if the whole thing was foam, I would use Plasti Dip or, or Mod Podge. The acrylic is what I had. And now I just hit that with black primer. And now I'm going to do a, a really light silver brushing over this whole thing. Not a dry brush, but a really light brush because I want to give it like a gun metal look. A dry brush would be just doing the edges and the highlights, which I'll do uh, later with some rub and buff. So now I just put a thin coat on there. I have these glasses that I mentioned at the top of the video, and I'm just going to paint them the same exact way, the same exact time that I'm painting this helmet so everything looks like it goes together. So now I just do a little touch-ups here and there. You don't want to overdo it. And yeah, that looks good. So now I'm going to get my rub and buff and that's where I'm going to do the highlights. With this, I've talked about it before on this channel, you just want to use a little bit. Um, for these rivets, I use a brush. Usually I use my finger, but I know I want to get right in those circles and you can see the difference there. It's subtle, but it really adds value. So now I do uh, the lenses, and I'm gonna hit this with a coat of clear just to seal in all that goodness. Now we're gonna do the weathering. Um, usually when I do a black piece, uh, I like to use more of a brown, um, and this is a burnt sienna, so I'm going for like a red dust planet clay kind of look. I don't know, the pith helmet. I imagine some kind of weird, sci-fi safari and i just go to town on this because it's red i um have to do a little more work than usual because i want this red look but you know it's trial and error of trying to figure out the right balance and then i get it and you can see it's just a slight bit of like a red clay and yeah that works so now i seal that in with another clear coat making these layers and now I go into my uh, stash of little LED lights. And I think that I need to put some lights on the brim of the helmet because it's gonna wanna shadow the eyes. Kind of, you know, when they wear space helmets, usually they're lit from the inside so you can see the actor's face. So I just take some steel wool and rough this up where I painted it because I'm gonna be putting on this uh, metallic tape. It's like an aluminum tape. Uh, I'll put a link below. And this is reflective and it pretty much conforms to any surface. And now I test fit where I wanna put the lights and I think that's gonna give me the effect I want. And I just take some hot glue, very simple. Put a dab of hot glue, actually a glob, <laughs> and put these lights just angled towards the top a little and yeah, that gives a really nice effect. I'm gonna test it here on my arm. Yeah, super simple, you know, and, and that adds value. So here's the final piece. We'll profile. And 
now a swooping shot. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> that came out pretty good. Like I said, I never know how these things are going to turn out. Now, <laughs> that just cracks me up. Now, one thing I want to say is that, you know, making things on a budget and I, and I make these rather quickly, I tend to skew towards a, a more comedic sci-fi, right? Because just on a low budget, it's easier to get away with. But by all means, um, if you want to do something a little more serious, a little more dramatic, you could still use these tutorials. Like for this, probably the lens is okay. I want to add the guns, you know, and that would work. But, you know, I just have fun doing it like this. <laughs> I think that came out pretty good. All right, so only thing left to do now is to fire it up. All right, let's get the lights going. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's temple activated. All right. Okay, there we go. And firing it up. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Now, in the comments, let me know, what do you think this is? Is it a space safari guy? Is it a galactic mailman? Is it a nut job <laughs> from outer space i don't know as always i hope you found this video useful please like share subscribe leave a comment i love to read the comments and be sure to sign up for the email newsletter and remember i'm just here to help make sci-fi <laughs> and deliver the space mail <laughs>